Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dave here and I want to give you a few bass drum warm-ups or basically foot warm-ups that you could do before a gig or before a long practice session to make sure you're not hurting yourself. Now these warm-ups aren't going to really work your foot out or build your strength or your speed or your control. They're more or less going to just get your blood flowing and your limbs moving. They're great to just loosen up before you do a long gig. And I don't know how many times I've been at a show where I set up my kit and do a sound check at 3 in the afternoon only to play at 10 or 11 at night. So you have a long period where you can't play the drums or warm up. So these first couple warm ups, I'm not even going to use the drum set. Like I said before, many times I need to warm up before I'm on stage and my kit's actually on stage already so I don't have the opportunity to jump on my kit. So here's a couple warm ups and stretches you can do away from the drums. Okay, I'm going to pull my seat back. Okay, right about there is good. Now you want to do these exercises sitting around the same height you would be sitting when you're at your throne. Okay, so I'm sitting on my throne with my legs planted on the ground and the first warm up, it's super simple and believe me, a lot of drummers overlook how powerful this is, but it's just to plant your heels on the floor and tap your toes just like you're playing heels down on the pedal and playing a bass drum, just like this. Now if you want to work out both feet, why not? You can do them together or you can alternate. Now keep doing this. Do this for a minute straight if you can. It's just a great way to get your toes moving, your ankles moving, you're keeping your heels planted and you're going to start to feel a bit of a burn, which is what you want. Okay, simple enough, right? The next one, heels up. So I'm going to plant my toes on the ground rather than my heels and I'm just going to bounce my feet up and down. My heel is going to actually hit the floor and I'm going to keep that motion with my toes planted just like this. You do it with both feet as well. And do this one for around a minute too if you can. So for this next one I'm actually going to lift my foot off the ground about an inch or two off and I'm going to just tap my toe on the ground while keeping my heel up. Again, if you want to do it with two feet, it's a little bit harder because you got to balance, but you can definitely do it. Now that one's tough to do with both feet because it's a balancing issue having nothing planted on the floor, so I recommend just doing that with the one foot. Now this next warm up is more of a stretch and I love this one because it really hits right in your shin muscles here and in your toe and everything like that. So this is a good one to do and it's more difficult than you think. So I'm going to plant my feet on the ground. My knees are going to be a nice, I would say 90 to 100 degree angle. And with my heels planted, I'm going to reach my toes to the ceiling or to the sky and try to stretch them as far as I can without lifting up my foot from the floor, just like this. Okay, now when you got that, keep pressing upwards and hold it. Hold it for about five to seven seconds, and then a little bit longer. You'll feel that stretch. Okay, there we go. All right, once you've done that, the trick is to move your feet back about an inch or two inches from where you first had them, just like that, and do the exact same thing. Oh yeah, you'll find that this one's much more difficult you want to make sure that you're not leaning back either. Keep your back straight. You'll feel it. You'll feel the effectiveness once you do this. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. A little bit longer. Okay, there we go. Now, one more time, we're going to move our feet back another inch and a half to two inches. By now, you have something like a 70 degree angle with your knees. So you're really going to feel this. Keep your back straight, do the same thing, lift your toes to try and touch the roof or touch the ceiling. Here we go. You're not going to be able to go as far, but you're still going to feel it. Now my toes are stretching as far up as I can. I'm really feeling it in my shin. Hold it for a little bit longer. Keep holding. And there we go. All right, shake your feet. Kind of loosen that tension up. The last one I'm going to show you is like a pivot with your ankle. You want to plant your toe on the ground and with your heel just swivel it around. Again, this is a great exercise for loosening up your ankle. You can do it with your left foot as well. Gets the blood flowing and everything like that. Okay, so those are great warm-ups, great stretches that you can do if you're not behind your kit and you have to go and play a show. It'll just get everything warmed up. It'll get your blood flowing and it'll get yourself a little bit more loose. 
All right, so here's a couple warm-ups you can do when you're sitting behind the kit at your bass drum pedal. Now keep in mind these aren't designed to really work yourself out. You're not gonna build a sweat, you're not gonna really push yourself, you're just here to warm up and get loose and get the blood flowing. So the first one is basically eighth notes on the bass drum over top of a basic rock groove. Hi-hats on eighth notes, snare drum on the two and four, and you can skip a bass drum when you play your back beat. You can skip a bass drum on the two and the four. So take this exercise, it's super simple, as fast as you need to in order to warm up. Don't push yourself, you don't wanna hurt yourself, you're just here to warm up. Do it for about a minute straight, something like this. All right, super easy, super simple, but very effective for warming up. Now the next warm up is a triplet gallop type of a beat, and I love this warm up just to work out my slide technique, or for those who play heel toe, your heel toe technique. Here's how it sounds. So if you're thinking in triplets, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And the four triplets where you play your snare drum, kind of like a halftime feel. Here it is a little bit faster. Now again, don't push yourself too hard. This is just to warm yourself up and get your foot and your toes moving. The last exercise or warm up I'm gonna give you is another fun one in the 16th note realm, and it works out your doubles again, but on different areas of the grid, all right? Bear with me, I'm gonna play it for you, then I'll explain it, here we go. All right, so another halftime feel there, but this is a really good warm up for your foot. I'm gonna count it out for you and I'm gonna tap my sticks where you're actually playing the bass drum. So for those who can count, here's how it sounds. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, really slow. Okay, and a little bit quicker. All right, so there you go. There's a couple of warm-ups for you, a couple of stretches, things you can do away from the kit and things you can do on the kit. I would spend five to 10 minutes tops on your warm-up because you really wanna just warm up so you can get into what you really need to be doing, either playing a show or doing a bunch of practice exercises, whatever it may be. Hope you enjoyed them and I'll see you around.